One trillion years from now, the universe will be a vastly different place, almost unrecognizable from what we know today. The brilliant tapestry of stars that illuminate the night sky will be a distant memory, a relic of a bygone era. Galaxies, once bustling with stellar nurseries and vibrant star systems, will become cosmic graveyards, silent and desolate. The raw materials for star formation, vast clouds of hydrogen and helium, will be exhausted, leaving the universe barren. The last generation of stars will have flickered out, their light extinguished, leaving behind only darkness and the remnants of a bygone era. The universe will be a much quieter, colder and lonelier place, devoid of the warmth and light that once filled it. But the story doesn't end there. Even in the vast emptiness, there is more to discover. The cosmos has more wonders in store, hidden mysteries waiting to be uncovered. The end of star formation marks a significant turning point in the universe's history. The universe begins a slow, inexorable descent into darkness, a cosmic dusk that will last for eons. Yet even in this profound darkness, the embers of the past will continue to glow, faint but persistent for eons to come, a testament to the universe's enduring legacy. Long after the last supernovas fade, their brilliant explosions will be but a distant memory. Red dwarf stars, the smallest and coolest of stars, will continue to shine in the vast expanse of space. These small, cool stars are incredibly long-lived, outlasting their larger counterparts by billions of years. They have lifespans far exceeding the current age of the universe, living for trillions of years. But even their fuel is finite, and they too will eventually run out of hydrogen. In one trillion years, the last red dwarfs will exhaust their hydrogen fuel, marking the end of an era. They will slowly contract, eventually fading into white dwarfs, cooling and dimming over eons. The universe will then be truly devoid of starlight, a dark and silent expanse. Only the faint glow of cooling remnants will remain, a testament to the stars that once were. The end of red dwarfs marks the final curtain call for stellar fire, the last act in the cosmic play. The universe, once ablaze with the light of billions of stars, will become a sea of darkness, punctuated only by the ghosts of stars past, a silent reminder of the vibrant cosmos that once existed. White dwarfs, the remnants of sun-like stars, will dot the cosmos. These stellar cores, incredibly dense, will slowly cool over trillions of years. Neutron stars, the remnants of massive stars, will also persist. These spinning, ultra-dense objects will continue to emit radiation. Over unimaginable timescales, even these stellar remnants will fade. White dwarfs will cool to become black dwarfs, emitting no light or heat. Neutron stars, through interactions and energy loss, may eventually dissipate. The universe will be populated by the remnants of stars. These remnants, though faint and fading, will serve as reminders of the universe's vibrant past, a time when stars lit up the darkness. Black holes, once exotic and mysterious, will become dominant. These cosmic predators lurking at the hearts of galaxies will continue to grow. They will devour any matter that ventures too close, growing larger and more influential. Black holes will become the universe's most significant inhabitants. Their immense gravity will hold sway over the vast distances between galaxies. They will shape the evolution of the cosmos. The era of stars will give way to the epoch of black holes. These enigmatic objects, once shrouded in mystery, will take center stage in the universe's ongoing drama. Section 5, The Whispers of Giants. Although black holes are often portrayed as inescapable abysses, they are not eternal. Stephen Hawking discovered that black holes emit a faint radiation due to quantum effects near their event horizon. This Hawking radiation is incredibly weak, but over unimaginable timescales it will cause black holes to slowly evaporate. The energy and mass they consumed over eons will slowly leak back into the universe. Even the most powerful objects in the universe, the black holes, are not immune to the passage of time. Hawking radiation, a whisper of energy, will eventually spell their demise. Section six, a universe in darkness. As black holes evaporate, the universe will enter the dark era. 
This era is characterized by vast emptiness and unimaginable timescales. Only a sparse sea of fundamental particles like electrons, neutrinos and photons will remain. The universe will become incredibly cold and diffuse. The temperature will approach absolute zero. The expansion of space will continue carrying these particles further and further apart. The Dark Era represents the ultimate fate of the universe as we know it, a state of near infinite darkness and emptiness. But even in this darkness, the potential for existence remains. Section 7. Life and Time The possibility of life in the Dark Era is a question that sparks our imagination. Could life in some form persist in a universe devoid of stars and planets? Could it arise from the quantum foam of space-time itself? The timescales involved are so vast that it is impossible to say for sure. But the resilience of life on Earth suggests that it might find a way, even in the most extreme circumstances. The Dark Era challenges our very notions of life and time. It forces us to confront the possibility of existence beyond our current understanding. Section 8. Our Place in the Universe Contemplating the universe in one trillion years is a humbling experience, one that stretches the imagination and challenges our understanding of existence. It highlights the vastness of time and the impermanence of all things, reminding us of the transient nature of our own lives. Our planet, our star, our solar system, our galaxy, all are fleeting moments in the grand cosmic scheme, mere blips in the infinite expanse of the universe. Yet, this realization should not fill us with despair, but rather with a profound sense of connection to the cosmos. Instead, it should inspire awe and wonder, a deep appreciation for the beauty that surrounds us. We are fortunate to exist in this era, to witness the marvels of the universe, to witness the beauty and complexity of a universe teeming with stars, planets and galaxies. Let us cherish this moment in cosmic history, this fleeting opportunity to explore and understand. Let us continue to explore and understand the universe we inhabit, to seek knowledge and wisdom. For it is in the exploration of the cosmos that we truly discover our place within it and our connection to everything that exists.